on October 20, 2020. An NSAS protest in Lekki came to a halt after the toll gate was invaded by trigger happy soldiers. Till date, no one has claimed responsibility for the invasion. The Lagos State Government initially confirmed one death, but subsequently admitted just two. The army continues to deny ever shooting at protesters. Was that really a massacre? FIJ's Visayo Shoyombo attempted to answer this question. For 10 weeks, he conducted investigations, went undercover and convinced friends, families and acquaintances of victims to tell their story. He learned about the following deaths. Olale Konbigi Abidin, confirmed by mother and neighbors. About her Solomon, confirmed by his only relative in Lagos, his brother Nathaniel. Uh, during protests at the Lake Toyet, we have go, three of them. Okay. So uh, by then on on that day I go work around nine o'clock okay. in the night. I can't work, my body is weak. I came back. So from there I sit down and tell my friend that my body is weak today, I don't know why. It is like 30, 30 minutes after. So we saw our brothers Ronnie come and tell us say uh, they are shooting people at target and when they are standing before they, they, they know one uh, our brother don't fall down so he said they don't kill my junior brother if i whose death was confirmed by his friend Aki kola wale we were all together myself and if i and um, at every point in time when the shooting ceased we tried to make our way out while running, so but we we ensured that we were not very far from each other. And then the next thing I heard was, he don't die. And then I looked back, and then I saw it was the guy who I was with. So I, the, the thing was, you would literally see blood here covering the blood. An unidentified protester shot in the chest, confirmed by witness. Freeborn Ufuri. That um, very um, traumatic night where the event took place, I was there. Uh, usually on my post where I give out, you know, cleaning utensils for them to clean around everything, give them water and all the stuff. When uh, the soldiers came in and started shooting, soldiers came in closer. They were shooting at, you know, some were shooting up, some okay. were shooting everywhere. So. I lie down flat and I was observing. It was when I saw they shot somebody in the chest and the person dropped down immediately. Three protesters brought into Reddington dead. Anonymously confirmed to FIJ by a doctor at the hospital. Seven male bodies counted on a military truck by a protester, Kamsi Ibe. Yeah, I'm trying to get a uh, source for help for those who were injured. So I was running to meet my other comrade if they can sort for ambulance. When I saw, I counted seven bodies. John Doe, so named by a doctor at Reddington and confirmed by protesters. This one is dead. Yeah. So you can see. So. A young male protester killed by the police, confirmed by protester Sam Issa. After the military men left, um, some policemen came in, like four of them. So there was a particular guy that um, they were able to get a hold of. So they were hitting him gun on his head. They were hitting him gun on his head. That particular guy didn't uh, survive. 
another male protester shot by the police. We were telling the policemen that uh, you guys have killed this uh, young man. Come and have his body. If we were, if were your siblings, your brothers or your sisters, would you open fire on us like this? While well, we were saying that, we dropped the body. They were on the other side watching. So as soon as we turned back, as soon as we turned back to go back to where we were coming from, the next thing we heard, we heard gunshots. That gunshot we heard, there was a guy that we were running together. As soon as we heard that gunshot, we were running together. The gunshot hits the guy on his head and the guy dropped dead immediately. Three dead protesters flung into a military truck by soldiers. Confirmed by Sam Issa. Um, while we were at the toll gate, while we were at the customer center, while we were there reciting uh, the national anthem, raising the flag, I saw the military men pick like three bodies and throw into their truck. Okay. Yes, they pick like three bodies and throw into the truck. These are the people I, these are the ones I saw with my eyes. This brings the number of deaths tracked by FIJ to 20. But from all indications, the overall casualty toll is significantly higher. There were leads we didn't trace, victims who declined to speak out of fear, protesters who asked to be excused from talking, and people who were at the toll gate but haven't been seen ever since. What happened at the toll gate on October 20 was a massacre. The big question is, who ordered it? Will the victims and their families ever get justice? <laughs>